Let's get into the wrangle. I'm joined on the desk as ever by Late Debate co-host Liz Stora. Great to see you, Liz. Good to be here. And in Melbourne, we've got Justin Smith, the man about Melbourne, broadcaster, columnist, all the rest of it. I want to start off on this energy stuff. Uh, amazing frankness today from the CEO of Alinta Energy, uh, Jeff Dimery. Let's have a look again at what he had to say. You came here for truths and straight talking about the transition. So here's a doozy. Australians will have to pay more for energy in the future. No kidding, Liz. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Revelatory. <laughs> yeah. Revelatory. Genius. But, it, Genius. But, but hang on a second, Justin. Your mates tell us they're going backwards <laughs> by $275. And they've only missed that by about 700 bucks so far. My mates? My mates are saying that, are they? Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Thank mates, you. Please enlighten your, me. Well, these blokes, these lefties running the country who say they're going to save the planet and reduce our power bills by $275 a year, and they've gone up Oh, we don't want to save the planet. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to know your full agenda here, that you're not keen on saving the planet anymore. OK, no, all yeah, right, no, I look, Thank I've you. Got, I've got Enlighten me more, please. I've got a diesel car and I use electricity, so obviously I want to destroy the best planet in the universe. Now, come on, mate. So these electricity prices are going to hurt people even more. We've got to face up to it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, there was that uh, a survey out today saying that people are concerned about moving too fast into renewables because their power prices are going to go through the roof. But the good part of that survey is also that people actually believe in renewables. I mean, I think we believe, and I was joking before, you know, none of us want to see the planet dead, I hope. But, you know, none of us, none of us are pushing in that direction. But, I mean, come on, it's... We've got to be all heading for the same goal on this. It's not actually just what we're after. It's how we're after it is the most important thing. Can't we all just get together on that one? Yeah, what we need is electricity because our whole civilization is founded yeah, on it. Uh, and uh, I don't believe thank in you. renewables. Gee, I'm learning know, a lot, mate. I know I'm really learning renewable. a lot tonight. Wow, <laughs> thank Liz, you. Liz, I know about renewables and I know you can't power a modern economy on them. Yeah. Otherwise, someone would have done it by now. Exactly. And across not yet. the particularly the Western world. Our governments have now spent $2.7 trillion rolling out renewable energy and every single country is yet to see value for money. Yeah. We keep being told, whether it's Biden in the US, Rishi Sunak in the UK or the Albanese government, we keep being told, oh, this is the cheapest form of power. We are simply not seeing that, not to mention when we're talking about renewables versus coal or renewables versus nuclear, renewables versus basically any other form of energy, we're not talking about comparing apples with apples. Mm. Now we're clearing thousands of hectares. The most recent one I heard talked about today was in the King's Catchment. This is going to be 570 more hectares cleared for a solar farm that will cost taxpayers 700 and $50 million. What do we know about solar energy? It's not half as powerful as coal. So what are we getting for those 570 hectares that you're so now what's clearing your plan, Liz? in the just, King River just catchment? Just keep using coal yes, for the next couple of thousand years. I mean, is that, is that your plan? Justin, just... Until we have a viable Yeah, but how are you going to get to that point if you don't start with solar, if you don't start with other renewables? How are you actually going to get to that point? Yes, it's We're not going to happen tomorrow. We're more than happy for people yes, to Yes, it's, it's not going to be able to power everything. But the plan no. is, in, in, as time goes on, we learn more about it, we get better at it, it becomes more efficient, <laughs> it then becomes cheaper. Mate, how are mate, you going to get to that point? Nobody has a problem with what you just, just described, yeah. Justin. Nobody has a problem with it. What we have a problem you have with... A problem because you want to keep using coal. Far, we're doing it far too fast. People are paying extortionate what's energy your plan? prices what's your and being told that they're going to rise even further. It's not workable. It's what's your not schedule, viable. What's your schedule? And in the middle Tell of a cost me. of living crisis, it's simply that we keep <clears throat> using fossil fuels until we have enough renewables to make yeah, the switch. All right. Everyone's but happy for it to complement what we currently have in the the technology, we're grid. never going to get gotta there. We've got to move on. Gotta, move we're never going to get to that. We've got to move on. We've got to move on. got to move on. They call it the Kenny Report. I get a word Why in Why am I making event. sense? The port no, no, it's, it's simple. You're making no sense at all. And yeah, the answer yeah. here is clearly you can't shut down the reliable energy you have 
until you have something reliable to replace it. What I would do is... What is, is, where, is what wrong you, with my argument? Well, because we don't have enough electricity, mate. Have you noticed the power prices are going through the roof? People can't play it and you're running out of power in Victoria and elsewhere. No, no, no. So you don't but you told the... me my argument is wrong. Well, we are going wrong. to well, need to invest in renewables no, to be can... able to no, use it mate, one day. Because... It is not going to just happen at once but when the... fossil fuels run out. But you, you, you're trying to use it now. You're shutting down all the coal-fired and gas-fired power now. We're short of electricity and no, guess I what? Don't... And Who's... guess what? Renewables can't power our economy. That's We're that's not shutting the... down all the coal. Is the coal... They're, they're... Colour oh, is being used in Australia. Right. It hasn't right. been all shut Sorry, down. I, I'll give up. I'm not going to talk oh, about no. energy anymore. Mate, if Justin's, you're going to use hyperbole, Justin said, get a little closer. Ju Justin said it's all fixed. We're all ticking along, tickety boo. If you reckon That's your right. power prices I and supplies are that. okay, I then didn't the, say we'll, that. we'll come back to this, uh, Justin, no doubt. I do need to get on to another issue, though, because I want to get your thoughts on okay. this. Is this right. We talked a lot about getting people back to the office, a lot of uh, employers trying to get people back to the office. I'm all in favour of that. Yeah? Great flexibility if you can have it. But people need to turn up at work. Now, Liz, the incentives some people are throwing at people to get them back to the office, you know, extra leave, um, extra, you know, uh, free food and stuff at the mm. office mm. and free pet sitting. <laughs> They'll look after your pets or let you bring the pets to the office. Incredible. It, I mean, this this is obviously, as you've said, it smacks of desperation. Oh, yeah. I'm all for working from home. I, I really do. I think the, the, the price it takes, the time it takes as well out of people's day to commute in and what we learned during the pandemic, we can't unlearn and that is things can work quite well in the office without going to that extent. So employers now have got a lot of hybrid systems going as well as people who are just completely working from home because people don't want to relinquish their newfound freedoms and especially for parents, that means they can do a drop off or a the pick flexibility is great the flexibility is too much to part with and and i'm sorry but employers have just got to resign themselves to that but fact 